What's up guys, Aaron here and uh, today I'm bringing you guys some more FIFA videos and today it is going to be more of FIFA 14 future squads and today it is going to be featuring Tottenham Hotspurs as you guys can see on the screens right now and uh, I actually decided to go with a 4-5-1 formation because I've noticed that Tottenham uh, are playing that formation in real life at this very moment in time. They played it against Arsenal uh, when they lost 1-0 at Emirates. But anyway, as you guys can see, it is a lot of new faces into the team. Like the midfield, it's pretty much all new players uh, without Dembele. But anyway, we are going to start in the goal with Lloris, which is an absolutely class goalkeeper. He is one of the world's best goalkeepers, but he's probably going to have a downgrade though maybe 85 or 84 maybe even because he hasn't been that good like a 86 overall goalkeeper uh, as Buffon. Buffon is 86 overall, Casillas is 86 overall as well so I don't think Loris is gonna be like 86 this year's in this year's FIFA as well but anyway we are gonna go into the center backs where Tottenham have a lot of players they got a uh, Vertonghen, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but Vertonghen, which is a pretty good player. He got some insane long shots. He managed to pick up a team of the season card as well this year, so he's probably gonna go up to 83 overall or something like that. As well as you got Kabu, which has been injured for like a year now, but he's uh, he's not injured at this very moment in time as I'm recording this. He's starting to play a bit with Tottenham again, but. He's an absolutely solid player on uh, if FIFA is all about pace, you know. And then we got another pace demon on the right back. We got uh, Kyle Walker with his 91 pace. I don't know if uh, EA are going to go up uh, with his ratings or down. Probably going to go up a bit because he's a better he's he's a better player than a 78 overall rated player. But then we are going to go over to the left back, which is Daniel Rose. Maybe not the strongest player, but he's a really, really fast player. And on FIFA, he's probably going to be a really good player. But in real life, he isn't that. He isn't too good. But anyway, he's a he's a okay player there. He does the job. But then we are going to go into the midfield, and as the center defensively midfield, we have Paulinho. I put him in there because he has played more than Capoue or something like that. I'm not too sure about how I pronounce the name, so I'm really, really sorry if. Uh, if I mispronounce any names, but uh, Kapue, he has just recently joined as well. He's a CDM as well. So, but I guess that Polinio is going to be the most important player there, as well as we're going to go into the right midfield now, where we got Eric Lamela with his five star skills. And but then we are going to go into the center attacking midfielders, where we got Christian Eriksen, a young player, which are absolutely going to develop into something big in the future. But then we are going to go with Dembele, which everybody um, touched with uh, Spurs know all about. He's a pretty good player. He can play down in the CDM role as well. But I put him, in, uh, but I put him into the center attacking mid because he's a really good player going forward as well as backwards. But and now we are going to go into the striker, and that is going to be Soldado, which started his uh, Premier League season really well. He scored in his debut debut match with a penalty as well as in the second match he got a penalty as well and converted that as well but if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like hit that subscribe button if you already haven't and uh, make sure to follow me on twitter as well link will be down in the description below and yeah i will see you guys next time and have a nice day goodbye